So, just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2023, and this time it's actually a first look at a new feature called Link Tracks. And that feature was added to the latest public release, which is built 7921 at the time of this recording. So what is this? Well, it's actually just the idea that you can link tracks together. And with that, you can actually create like small micro sets uh, that with tracks that mix well together, go great together, or any other reason you might want to link tracks together. So you are basically just linking tracks, uh, and then you can use that while DJing. So that's the general idea. And uh, that has actually also been a feature in products like DJ Pro and I think also Rekordbox for a while. So now Virtual DJ has its own take on this, uh, which is actually a little bit more developed if you ask me. So where do we find it? We'll actually find it down here. And that can be labeled, this tab can be like similar or it can be labeled like remixes. That depends on what you have selected up here. So you can say you have alternative remixes, you have similar songs, you have recommendations, and then you have the new fourth settings, uh, setting which is show track linked to the playing song. So I'll click that one, that's the new feature. And then of course it doesn't have any. Because the other way you, the thing you can see down here is that it's actually right now based on Active Deck. So that's this one up here, and of course it has no tracks in it, so there's be, there'll be nothing there. It can also be based on browser, I'll show that in a second. But right now it's based on Active Deck. So if I load a, tra a track up here, you can see that it says no link tracks, and then it says history. There's actually three things currently you can say over here, and that is the link tracks, uh, which are direct links, and then there are backwards links, and then there are history links, if you will. And the history one is really just based on your playing history. So that's kind of the same as some of the recommendation engines uh, in Virtual DJ. But this one up here is what you directly link together. So let me just grab another song, like for instance this one by Cardi B. Drag, drag it over here. And now it has a direct link to Cardi B. That also means that if I load this track, I can load it directly from down here. Then I get the, the th th second option, the backward links down here, because it now tells me that there's a link from another track to this track, uh, because that's the one that I had right before. So if I go back, you'll say to KDB and the opposite direction. So it shows both direction. And then it shows the history, like I said, just before. And like you also saw, you can drag and drop them directly down from down here, so they're ready to play. So that's really the idea. Of course, you can uh, add more than one. So if I load the first one again here, say I've added Cardi B, but I can also say, well, it also goes together with this one and it also goes together with that one. Uh, so now they're all there. And if I uh, unload it, of course, and load it again, it'll still be stored. It'll still uh, um, be there the next try. You load this track. So that's a nice thing. And of course, if I grab one of the other ones and load those, one of those, you get the backward links again, just like you would expect. So that's basically the idea. Uh, then there was this little extra thing that you could do. You could actually also do it based on browser. So that means you don't have to load anything up here. So I'll just unload it. And then it's when you click it over here, that it changes the links over here. And of course you can again, grab the tracks and load them directly from, from this thing. And that also goes from the history section, but again, that was based on your playing history, not on what you have manually set as direct links. You can also do this uh, with script and a few other ways, uh, but I'll get back to the more complicated stuff in another video. So this was just a first look at the uh, link tracks, so you can get started because the, uh, uh, the release that it's a part of was re recently, uh, like a couple of days ago maybe, made this latest public release. So maybe go try it and see if you like it.